In this video, we will show that using a nomadic cooling air conditioner, DC powered, will increase your runtime by over 400%. We will prove with hard data, with facts and science and video, Kenny, of why we can make such a bold claim about the DC powered air conditioner. What do you think is cheaper? The Fit RV using five Lithionics batteries to power their original air conditioner or switching the AC unit to a DC powered nomadic version? Let's find out. Kenny, today's a big day. Today, we have a 2021 Winnebago Revel in here. It's from the Van Collective. He was nice enough to give it to us for a few days so we could run a couple tests. Inside this beautiful rig is two Lithionics battery. Hey, Steven from Lithionics, this video is for you, okay? We have two 125 amp hour Lithionics battery inside this beautiful coach. We have a nomadic cooling 3000 on top. We're gonna see how much amps it uses in eco mode. We're gonna check and see how many amps it uses in high cool. We're going to check and see how well it cools. This is our first test today, Kenny. We are going to do a consumption test of how much electricity the Nomadic Cooling 3000 uses, not in direct sunlight, and we're gonna be testing the Lithionics 250 amp hours of pure lithium power built inside this rig. So this is going straight DC, so it's DC to DC. It's going 12 volt to 12 volt. It's not going through an inverter at all. This rig is not plugged in. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna open up my phone. I'm gonna do a screen record and we'll put that up right next to it, right? Okay, Kenny, I'm opening up the Lithionics app. I'm screen recording. I'm surrounded by dogs. Kenny, can you get some of the puppies in here? So people always love puppy videos. Uh, especially Roxy, because she's my favorite. Get the rooster in here, okay? We're still screen recording, so put that up here. I got a rooster and I got a gunner right here, okay? They're hardworking dogs, and you know if I put them in a video, Kenny, it is technically a write off. Right now, we're at 13.24 volts. We're at 90% capacity on this Lithionics battery. The BMS temperature is at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery temperature inside the vehicle right now is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now, Kenny, we are screen recording. I'm going to say to my uh, beautiful assistiante, power on. It's definitely not on. Sometimes you have a hard time finding a good assistant. What you're seeing now on the side of the screen that has this screenshot up here is the amps are going slowly up. You can also start to hear the air conditioner in the background, okay? Right now, it is at 17 amps. Now, I'm gonna remember this, you have to multiply this by two because we are only looking at one of the batteries. So this is one battery, so 17 times two. Jake, go! 34. 34! We're gonna do something a little crazy. Isaiah, can we go to full blow? Full blown. High cool. Okay. Now you're gonna see the amps are gonna start going up again. Okay. Right now we're at 20. Ooh. Heard a little noise there, didn't we? A little woo woo coming up. Ooh, 28 amps. Okay. So. It's at 29 amps right now. Now you have to remember 29, so basically 30 amps times two gives you 60 amps of consumption on the largest nomadic cooling air conditioner that we sell. This is the 100 amp compressor. It'll use 100 amps in 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the worst weather possible. So right now we're at 60 at high cool, okay? What this means is this is the way the math works, guys. Let me go ahead and open up my calculator here. Okay, we have 125 amp hour batteries. We have two of those, it gives you 250. And if we divide that by 60, that's how many amp hours we're using right now, 
This will run in high cool mode for four hours, okay? And if we drop that in half, let's do that again. So 125 times two gives us 250. If we divide that by 34, the number previously, 7.35 hours. All right, Kenny, we're in the back of the Van Collective's uh, van. Can we all go ahead and just say hello to Isaiah and tell him he did a fantastic job earlier? Like, <laughs> there he is. Okay, I'm glad you're here with me. We've got the air conditioner on high cool. It's running right now. You'll hear the noise a little bit. You'll hear the fans on the inside and the fan on the roof. Remember that most of the sound you're not going to actually hear because the doors will be closed. But let's go ahead and Kenny, let's look at this together, okay? So right now, can you zoom in on my phone here? We're at 88% battery. We're at 19 amps. Now remember that that's times two, so a little under 20, or excuse me, under 40 amp hours of consumption. So now we're at 20, so now it's 40 on high cool at 12 volts. Okay, let's do the math together, guys. So that's 20 times two equals 40. Okay, times 12. So we're at 480 watts. The ambient temperature inside the shop right now is 80 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and now check the outside of the wall, doors are open. Okay, so from this distance we're at 77. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna shine this up in here. It's in high cool right now, high fan mode. We're, it's reading basically 51 coming out. From the temperature out here, which is 80, to the temperature coming out of the unit, says it's 50 degrees. That's a 50, 60, 70, 80, a 30 degree delta. But the actual unit itself tells you the temperature coming out of the unit. Okay, and what's that temperature right now? 39. So it says it's coming out at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And what does it say the air going in is? 71 okay so that's a we're starting to actually cool this down 10 degrees even though the doors are open so we've got about a 40 degree delta coming out of here let's go ahead and shoot at this one more time so it's we're showing a 53 degree split so this is 53 degrees coming out okay kenny i'm gonna go back i'm gonna open up the Lithionics battery app, okay? Right now we're in high cool. It's 28 amps times two, so a little under 60. The air conditioner is pumping out cold air at almost a 40 degree delta. The reason I wanted to uh, screen record turning off the air conditioner is so you could see how the amps go slowly down. It's not an automatic high amps, low amps. It goes up slow and goes down slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the included remote over here from Nomadic Cooling. So I'm going to turn it off and you'll notice that there wasn't any uh, loud noises, any loud bangs, any startup, anything along those lines. The, the fan on the top of the vehicle just turned off as well and now we're down at one amp. So now I'm going to turn the air conditioner back on again so you can get the startup um, amps as well. Ready? So starting off at one amp, two amps, three amps, it's gonna slowly start climbing. Okay, 17 amps, 20 amps, no loud bangs, no loud, uh, no big surge in the beginning. It just goes from zero basically and starts working its way up slowly. Okay, we're at about 22 amps, 24, 26, 29. That's probably where it's gonna stay in this, in this temperature. Okay, so we'll put that up side by side so you could look at it. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off again. Boom. Let's just go over everything that we just did. We just checked the amp draw on an 80 degree day ambient temperature on a Winnebago Revel with 250 amp hours of Lithionics battery with the Nomadic Cooling 3000 on top. We see that in low cool, it was right over you know, 40 amps, high cool, 
60 amps. Now the amp draw is gonna really depend on the ambient temperature outside. As that ambient temperature increases to 100 degrees Fahrenheit plus, those numbers will go up. Why is this important to you? As it's hotter out, you will get less runtime on your set batteries. As you have more batteries, you will get more runtime based on the ambient temperature outside. This is 250 amp hours of lithionics. It's a really good number. And in eco mode on an 80 degree day, you're gonna get seven hours of runtime with this. Now, what does that mean at nighttime? Especially in something like this, like the Winnebago, because what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that the bedroom space is so small in here. Well, when we talk about it the other way, we're talking about 100% runtime with the batteries. That means the air conditioner's on and it's not stopping. What you have to remember is that this air conditioner is based on the internal temperature. That means it'll self-regulate based on the temperature inside the coach. So if you're sleeping in here at night on an 80 degree night, it's going to cool the space, it's going to shut itself off. So I wouldn't be surprised on an 80, 90 degree night for you to use your air conditioner all night and wake up with 75 or 80% battery still remaining. You know, when we do the math, we always have to do it in a worst case scenario. 100 degrees in a desert in the middle of the day, all the doors are open and the air conditioner is just running. That's what we're looking for. But in real world implications, if you have a van like this or a mobile living situation, you're not gonna put yourself in the middle of the desert when it's 120 degrees outside in the middle of the day, uh, unless you did something wrong. So remember that, if you wanna go further in comfort, don't go to the Grand Canyon in September. My name is Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling. This is one of the very first tests. We have a few more tests coming, our, coming your way. So stay tuned and let's see what the Nomadic Cooling 3000 can do in a Winnebago Revel with 250 amp hours of lithium power from Lithionics. Let's go.